Hey everybody, Carl Schneider coming at you with another All Memphis lesson. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference between closed syllables and open syllables. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper, a pen or pencil, and something you can write on and we'll get started. Awesome, as always, um, we're going to start with our oral expression. Today's sentence prompt is blank is a want, but blank is a need. So I want you to think to yourself for a moment, what's the difference between something you want and something you need? I'll go first. Coffee is a want, but water is a need. Although there are some days where that coffee feels a lot like a need. Um, go ahead, now it's your turn. Make sure to speak in a complete sentence. Awesome, you could have said, uh, junk food is a want, but vegetables is a need. Um, very good, awesome job. Let's jump into our card deck. Suffix I-N-G, what does it mean? Very good, happening right now. Ink, what's the sound? That's right, ink. Ink, what's the sound? That's right, ink. Onk, what's the sound? That's right, onk. Unk, what's the sound? That's right, unk. Ang, what's the sound? That's right. Ing. Ing. What's the sound? That's right. Ing. Ong. What's the sound? That's right. Ong. Ung. What's the sound? That's right. Ung. Great. Suffix s. What does it mean? That's right. More than one. K. What's the sound? That's right. K. At the end of a short word after a short vowel. J, what's the sound? That's right, j, at the end of a short word after a short vowel. Ch, what's the sound? That's right, ch, at the end of a short word after a short vowel. Suffix ed means, very good, happened in the past. I love to see it. This one makes three sounds. The first one is t, what's the sound? That's right. If the base word ends in an unvoiced letter, the second sound is d. What's the sound? That's right, d. If the base word ends in a voiced letter, good. And the third sound is id. What's the sound? That's right, id. If the base word ends in d or t, which letters? That's right, d or t. A. What's the sound? That's right. A, because the E at the end makes the vowel say its name. I, what's the sound? That's right. I, because the E at the end makes the vowel say its name. We have two sounds. First sound is U. What's the sound? That's right. U. Second sound is OO. What's the sound? That's right. OO, because the E at the end makes the vowel say its name, and the letter U is a rude word. Oh, what's the sound? That's right. Oh, because the E at the end makes the vowel say its name. E, what's the sound? That's right. E, because the E at the end makes the vowel say its name. Suffix ER, what does this one mean? Great, more, greater, one who, or that which. What's the suffix? That's right, ER. Faster means more fast. Thinker means one who thinks. Boiler means that which boils. And taller means you're taller than someone else or more tall. Awesome. Suffix E-S-T, what does it mean? That's right, greatest or most. All, what's the sound? That's right, all at the end of short words. Oi, what's the sound? That's right. Oi, in the beginning or middle of words. Oi, what's the sound? That's right, 
Oi at the end of words. R, what's the sound? That's right, R. Second sound is er, what's the sound? That's right, er at the end of longer words after L, like dollar. E, what's the sound? That's right, E in the middle of words. Ah, what's the sound? That's right, ah in the beginning or middle of words. Ah, what's the sound? That's right, ah at the end of words or when followed by an L or N. Which two, which two letters? That's right, L or N. This is suffix less. What suffix is it? That's right, less. Suffix less means without. What does it mean? That's right, without. Eh, what's the sound? That's right, eh. Second sound is e. What's the second sound? That's right, e at the end of an open syllable. I, what's the sound? That's right, i. Second sound is i. What's the second sound? That's right, i at the end of an open syllable. First sound is ah. What's the sound? That's right, ah. Second sound is o. Oh. What's the second sound? That's right, o oh, at the end of an open syllable. Or, what's the sound? That's right, or. Second sound is er. What's the second sound? That's right, er at the end of longer words after s or t. Which two letters? That's right, S or T, like professor or doctor. Awesome, A, what's the sound? That's right, A in the middle of words. A, what's the sound? That's right, A at the end of words. Suffix full, what is it? That's right, suffix full. It means full of or having. What does it mean? That's right full of or having. We have three sounds for this letter. The first one is y. What's the sound? That's right, y. The second sound is i. What's the second sound? That's right, i. At the end of short words. The third sound is e. What's the third sound? That's right, e. At the end of longer words. Er, what's the sound? That's right. Er, this is the most common spelling for er. Ah, what's the sound? That's right. Ah, second sound is a. What's the second sound? That's right. A at the end of an open syllable. First sound is a. Uh. What's the sound? That's right. A. Uh. Second sound is you. What's the second sound? That's right, you. The third sound is oo. What's the third sound? That's right, oo. Both of those are at the end of an open syllable. Very good. I, what's the sound? That's right, I, usually followed by a T. O, what's the sound? That's right, O in the middle of words. Very good. All right. All right, now it's time for sight words. I'm gonna box these words and I want you to read them. Go ahead and read this word. Great, read this word. Awesome, and read this word. All right, you should have read close, second, squirrel. What are the words? Very good, clothes, second, squirrel. One more time. Awesome job. Great, this is the word honey. What's the word? That's right, honey. Honey is spelled H-O-N-E-Y. How is it spelled? Very good, H-O-N-E-Y. Now, let's skywrite it in the air to lock it in our brain three times. Are you ready? Let's go. H O N E Y honey. Let's do it again. H O N E Y 
Honey, one more time. H-O-N-E-Y, honey. Awesome job. Now let's do some review words to read. All right, you know the drill. The first thing we're gonna do is write down all of these words on your paper. So I'll underline a word and you write it down. Are you ready? Great. Write down this word. Awesome, write down this word. Alrighty, write down this word. Awesome, write down this word. Great, let's write down this word. Awesome, let's write down this word. Let's write down this word. Let's write down this word. And finally, let's write down this word. Awesome. Now we're going to annotate these words, which means we're going to mark them up to make them easier to read. The first thing I want us to do is look for any prefixes and suffixes. Do we see any prefixes or suffixes on this page? Yeah, I see a whole lot of suffixes. So let's go through row by row and bracket our suffix. As a reminder, a bracket looks like this. We're gonna split the base word from the suffix. Split the base word from the suffix. Split the base word from the suffix. All right, now you try it on the next row. All right, great. I'm gonna get caught up. Go ahead and bracket all of our suffixes in this second row. All right. Awesome, and let's go ahead and knock out the third row. Here we go. Great. Awesome. Perfecto. Okay, awesome. The next thing we're going to do is underline all of our vowels and vowel teams. Go ahead and don't forget about those R controlled vowels. Go ahead and underline all of our vowels and vowel teams. I see a vowel here. I'm not gonna get tricked because I know this is an A consonant E. I see a vowel here. What about this I? Does anybody remember why this is gonna be the letter I? How do we normally spell this word? There's a Y there, right? But what do we know about what happens to a Y if we add a suffix that begins with a, a vowel? Very good, we have to change that Y to an I. Awesome. Let's see, on this next row, I see a few more of those. We have an O consonant E here, an A consonant E here, 
And this Y is acting like a vowel in that word. We learned about that a few weeks ago with Mr. Schneider. Great. I see a vowel here. I see an R controlled vowel here. Ooh, and here I see two vowels. What do we know about a word that has two vowels? What does that mean? Very good, it means that it has more than one syllable. Way to go. All right, now let's check for our um, digraphs and trigraphs. We're gonna circle those. Do we see any digraphs or trigraphs in the top? Nope. What about in this row? Very good, SH is um, a digraph, way to go. And I don't see any others. So the final step is going to be to box our blends. We're gonna box our blends. I see a blend here. I see a blend here. I see a blend here. And I see a blend here. Awesome. Now for our one word that is um, many syllables, let's go ahead and label those really quickly. What do we do when we have a word with more than one vowel? We start by labeling the vowels. So we see a vowel here and a vowel here. What do we see between them? That's right, two consonants. Way to go. So we divide that word between the two consonants. And both of these will say they're short sounds. Awesome. So now, after doing all that awesome work, it's time to read these words. You go ahead and begin by reading um, the top row. Awesome. You should have read trustful, careless, happiest. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and look at this next row. Great. You should have read hopeless, shameful, crying. Awesome job. Let's take a look at this bottom row. All right. Let's try the third word together with our swoops. Very good, the word is impactful, impactful. Awesome job. What were the first two words? Very good, tried and harmless. I'm gonna read all of these words once and then I want you to take a turn reading them, okay? Awesome. Trustful, careless, happiest, hopeless, shameful, crying, tried, harmless, impactful. Your turn. Awesome. Now I'm gonna ask you some questions to make it spicy. Are you ready? Great. The first question I have is, in the third row, which word has three syllables? Awesome job. Impactful. Impactful has three syllables. Way to go. In the second row, read me the word that means without hope. Without hope. That's right, hopeless. In the first row, read me the word that is the opposite of careful. That's right, care less. And in the first row, sad is to saddest as happy is to, that's right, happiest. Way to go, great work. Awesome. Now I'm gonna say a sound and I want you to write it down. Make sense? Great. The first set sound is I. What's the sound? That's right, I. But don't get tricked. The keyword is fly. What's the keyword? That's right, fly. 
go ahead and write down the letter that says I at the end of the word fly. Great, the next sound I want you to write is E. What's the sound? That's right, E. The key word is eat. What's the key word? That's right, eat. Go ahead and write the sound that means, that says E as in eat. Awesome. Now I want you to write the suffix that means happening right now. Go ahead and write that on your paper. With what suffix? Very good. Happening right now. Awesome. Now I want you to write the suffix that means full of or having. What's the suffix? That's right, full of or having. Go ahead and write that on your paper. Are you ready to check your work? Great, let's go. The first sound you should have written was Y, fly, I. Very good. The next one you should have written was E A eat E. Great. The next one you should have written was suffix I N G means happening right now. Very good. And the last one is suffix F U L means full of or having. Awesome. Make sure your paper looks like mine. Now it's time to spell some words. The first word we're going to spell is the word care. What's the word? That's right, care. Let's go ahead and finger spell it together. K air. Go ahead and write it down. Awesome. Now I'd like you to add the suffix that means full of or having. Go ahead and write that suffix down next to the word care. Awesome. The next word I want you to write is the word fly. What's the word? That's right, fly. Let's finger spell it together. F-L-I. Go ahead and write it on your paper. All right, now I want you to add the suffix that means happening right now to the word fly. Great. The last word I want you to write is the word team. What's the word? That's right, team. Let's finger spell it together. T e m. Don't get tricked. Go ahead and write it down. Awesome. Are you ready to check your work? Great. The first word you should have written was careful. Careful. The next word you should have written was flying. Flying. And the last word you should have written was the word team. Did you write those words? Awesome. If you need to fix it, go ahead and do so now. Great. Let's go ahead and read these three words quickly before we move on. Read this one. 
Great, careful. Now read this one. Yes, flying. And read this one. Very good. Team. Awesome job. Now we're going to do a little bit of review. Who can remind me, what is a syllable? That's right. A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel sound. What's a syllable? That's right. A word or part of a word with one vowel sound. Awesome. What is a closed syllable? A closed syllable ends with a consonant and has one short vowel sound. What's a closed syllable? It has what? That's right. Now let's talk about a closed syllable. A closed syllable ends with a consonant and has one short vowel sound. So let's take a look at this word. Does it end with a consonant? That's right, G is a consonant and it has one vowel sound and that vowel sound is gonna be short. So is this a closed syllable? Very good. This is the word frog. What's the word? That's right, frog. Awesome job. Now let's talk about an open syllable. An open syllable ends with a vowel and has one long vowel sound. So what does it end with? That's right, a vowel. And what kind of sound does that vowel have? That's right, it's long. So let's take a look at this word. It ends with what? That's right, a vowel. It ends with a vowel, and that means that this vowel is gonna say its long sound or its own name. So here we have m e. What's the word? That's right, me. Awesome job. All right, now it's time to, re to read some words and decide if they are open syllables or closed syllables. So I really wanna quickly talk you through something. Do you see this line above um, the letter I right here? That's called a macron, repeat. That's right, a macron. This is a line over a letter that means that that vowel says its long name. Awesome. You see this little half circle here? That's called a brev. What's it called? That's right, a brev. A brev is there to tell us that it's gonna say a short sound. So if we know that closed syllables have short sounds and open syllables have long sounds, which type of syllable would we use a macron on? That's right. An open syllable where the vowel says it's long sound. And where would we use a brev? Very good. A closed syllable where we're ending with a consonant and the vowel says it's short sound. Awesome job. So let's go ahead and start labeling these letters. So this ends in what? That's right, a vowel. So what are we gonna do? Very good. We're gonna draw a macron above it, and what kind of syllable will that be? Very good, an open one. What does this end with? Very good, a vowel. So what are we gonna put over the vowel? That's right, a macron. And what is this gonna say? It's long sound, very good. Uh-oh, what do we have here? Very good, it ends with what? Very good, a vowel. So what are we gonna put over the vowel? That's right, a macron, so we know that it says its own name. Way to go. Now let's look at this one. So we already said that this is a brev, and that means it's saying it's short sound. So what kind of uh, syllable is this? That's right, a closed syllable. Let's see, what does this end with? That's right, M is what? A consonant, very good. So what are we gonna put over the vowel? Awesome job, we're gonna put a brev to make sure that we know that this is gonna be a short sound and a closed syllable. What about this one? 
Very good. It ends with what? A consonant. So this is gonna get a brev and it's gonna be what kind of syllable? That's right, closed. Let's take a look at this one. Ends with what? Again, a consonant, awesome. And so we're gonna do our brev here and we'll know that this is saying it's short sound. I want you to go ahead and try the bottom row on your own and then we're gonna read all of these syllables. Awesome. Let's take a look at this first word. What is the letter T? Is that a vowel or a consonant? That's right, it's a consonant. So what are we gonna do? Very good, we're gonna draw a brev and know that that's saying it's short sound. What does this one end with? That's right, a vowel. So what type of syllable will it be? Yes, very good, open. And what are we gonna draw over it? Very good, a macron. Awesome, what about this one? Very good. It ends with a vowel as well, so we're going to draw a macron. What about this one? What is the letter N? Very good. That's a consonant. So this letter will say it's short sound. Awesome. Are you ready to read the first row of syllables? Awesome. And what type are all of these syllables if they end with a vowel? They're open. Great job. Go ahead and read the top row of syllables. Great, you should have read hi, no, gree, be. Awesome, let's take a look at the second row. These all end with a consonant. So what type of syllables are they? That's right, closed, way to go. Great, you should have read grin, stum, clom, pram. Very good. Now I want you to go ahead and read the bottom row. Here we have a mixture of open and closed syllables. So make sure you check how it ends and the symbol we wrote over the vowel so you don't get tricked. Great, you should have read slat, crew, pry, friend. Did you get them right? Great, awesome job. So who can remind me, what does an open syllable end with? That's right, a vowel. And what does a closed syllable end with? Exactly right, it ends with a consonant. You guys are doing such a great job. All right. Now we're gonna spell some syllables and we'll know how to spell them based on the vowel sound and we'll know if they're open or closed. The first syllable I want you to write is he. What's the syllable? That's right, he. Go ahead and write it on your paper now. Let's finger spell it together. <gasps> e. Great, go ahead and write it on your paper now. Awesome. The next syllable I want you to write is I. What's the syllable? That's right, I. Go ahead and write it now. Great. The next syllable I want you to write is go. What's the syllable? That's right, go. Let's finger spell it together. G O. Write it down. Great. The next uh, syllable I want you to write is we. What's the syllable? That's right, we. Go ahead and write it on your paper. Let's finger spell it. W e. Go ahead and write it down. Awesome, the next syllable I want you to write is plot. What's the syllable? That's right, 
plot. Let's fingerspell it together. P -l -a -t. Go ahead and write it down. All right, and the last syllable I want you to write is frib. What's the syllable? That's right, frib. Let's fingerspell it together. F-r-i-b. Very good, go ahead and write it down. Awesome, are you ready to check your work? Great, let's do it. The first syllable you should have written down was h e. Very good. The next syllable you should have written down was I. Awesome. The next one you should have written down was go. Great. The next one was we. Wonderful. The next one was plot, awesome. And the final one was frib, frib. And you should have written frib, frib. Awesome. Who can tell me which two words are closed syllables? That's right, plot and frib. How did you know that they were closed syllables? That's right, they ended with what? A consonant, and the vowel sound was what? That's right, short, way to go. That means that the other four words and syllables were all what type? Very good, open, because why? Very good, they end with a vowel, and the vowel says what kind of sound? It's long sound. Wow, you all did an awesome job. This is a learned word. A learned word is like a sight word, but you have to know it when you see it and you have to know how to write it down. So we're gonna write it on our paper. This is the word almost. What's the word? That's right, almost. Almost is spelled A-L-M-O-S-T. How is it spelled? Very good, A-L-M-O-S-T. All right, you know the drill. We're gonna write this down on our paper three times and we're gonna say the letter names as we write them down. Let's try it together. A-L-M-O-S-T, almost. Very good, let's do, the, do it again. A-L-M-O-S-T, almost. Awesome. Let's do it one last time. A-L-M-O-S-T, almost. Very good. Cover your eyes. What's the word? That's right, almost. And how is it spelled? Very good. A-L-M-O-S-T, almost. Way to go. So now we're going to learn a new learned word. Are you ready? This is the word add. What's the word? That's right, add. This word is unfair because there's not really a reason to have the two Ds. Why is it unfair? That's right, we don't know why there are two Ds. So let's go ahead and um, memorize how to spell this word. This is the word add. What's the word? That's right, add. How it, add is spelled A-D-D. -D. How is it spelled? That's right, A-D-D, -D. very good. Let's go ahead and write it on our paper three times right now. A-D-D, -D, add. A-D-D, -D, add. One more time. A-D-D, -D, add. What's the word? That's right, add. Now cover your eyes. How do we spell this word? Very, very good, A-D-D-ad, awesome job. 
Now I'm going to say some sentences and you're going to write them on your paper. The first sentence we're going to write is, he and I can almost go flying. What's the sentence? Very good. We're going to break it into a smaller phrase to make it easier to write. The first phrase is, he and I. Your turn. Great. Go ahead and write that on your paper. Great. The second phrase I want you to write is, can almost go flying. What's the phrase? That's right. Can almost go flying. Write that on your paper now. Great, are you ready for sentence number two? Say, oh yeah. Awesome, sentence number two is, we will add me in the team. What's the sentence? Very good. Um, the first phrase is, we will add me. What's the phrase? Great, go ahead and write, we will add me on your paper now. Awesome. The second phrase is in the team. What's the phrase? That's right, in the team. Write it on your paper. Awesome. Before we get started checking our work, who can remind me, what does every uh, sentence begin with? That's right, a capital letter. What does every sentence end with? Very good. Punctuation mark. Awesome. And we always want to check for what? Very good. Spelling. And we want to make sure that our sentences can be understood, that they make sense. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and check our work. For sentence number one, you should have written, he and I can, can almost go flying. He and I can almost go flying. Awesome. Are you ready to check sentence two? Great. We will add me in the team. Oh, I just heard somebody remind me that almost in sentence one and add in sentence two were our new learned words. Awesome job. All right, are you ready to make it spicy? Wonderful. My first question is, in sentence one, read me the words that are open syllables. Open syllables. Very good. He is an open syllable. I is an open syllable. And go is an open syllable. We know this, why? Because they end with what? A vowel, and the vowel does what? Makes its long sound. Awesome job. In sentence two, read me this word. E -m. That's right, team, way to go. In sentence two, read me the word that rhymes with sad. What's the word? That's right, ad rhymes with sad. Awesome, and in sentence one, read me the word that ends with the suffix that means happening right now. 
Very good. Flying ends with suffix ing, which means happening right now. Awesome job. All right, before we do our oral reading, who can remind me, how do we know a syllable is a closed syllable? It ends with what? That's right, a consonant. And what kind of sound does the vowel make? That's right, a short sound. How do we know if something is an open syllable? It ends with what? Very good, a vowel, and the vowel makes its long sound. Very good. Um, go ahead and read sentence one now. Awesome job. At the end of the year, we have our class trip to the zoo. I see that the word trip and the word class are both gonna be what kind of syllable? That's right, closed syllables. Awesome job. Now go ahead and read sentence number two. Great, you should have read, my teacher, Miss Sherman, will get to go as well. Awesome, go is what kind of syllable? That's right, open because it ends with a vowel and the O is saying it's long sound. Go ahead and take a look at sentence number three. Awesome, you should have read, she says we will need to bring sack lunch. So what kind of syllable would the word sack be? That's right, closed, very good. Go ahead and take a look at sentence number four and read. Awesome, you should have read, I like to say hi to the sloths and the meerkats. Awesome, this word, what kind of syllable is that? Exactly right, it's open because it ends with a vowel and says its long name. And let's take a look at sentence number five. Great, you should have read, we always have fun when we go to the zoo. Awesome, what kind of syllable is the word fun? That's right, closed because it ends with the consonant and the vowel is short. Awesome job working hard today, great work.